2020 was just huge for gaming. Probably the biggest year of gaming in gaming history. I mean, seriously. In the last six months, four out of five people has played some type of video game, some type or another. And the industry, $174 billion. Bigger than the movie industry, bigger than the music industry, just absolutely huge. And right now, even as I'm making this video, there are probably 3.1 billion people playing games. That is just absolutely phenomenal numbers. And I have to say that in 2020, AMD probably had one of their best years ever. But from the way things look from the CES announcement, it looks like 2021 just may be AMD's biggest, and I do mean biggest, year ever. Let's talk tech. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed and you'll be up and gaming in no time. Right off the bat, you guys all know about RDNA. Now, RDNA 2 by mid-year is supposed to be on every platform that they have, whether it be a laptop, a Xbox, it doesn't matter, whatever platform that they're doing, single card, it will be everywhere. So if you're somebody who's looking forward to the next generation of RDNA, well, it's going to be here soon and it's probably going to be pretty kick butt. Now, at the CES event, one of the things that AMD started, you know, touting right off the bat was pretty much that they had a great year, you know, last year with Zen and everything else. And Zen 3 has been great and, you know, fastest single core, you know, <laughs> stuff ever. That's beating Intel. First time ever for that stuff. So that's awesome. But they also started to talk about laptops and a new laptop that has the 5800 OU in, in the processors that's inside this laptop. Now, this is supposed to be the fastest x86 thin line laptop that ever existed. Now, the, sorry, it's just the 5800U, not OU. It has eight cores, 16 threads, 4.4 gigahertz maximum boost, and really extended battery life. It's supposed to be the most powerful thin line laptop ever, and it's supposed to have amazing battery life as well. 17.5 hours, if you're just doing general usage, and if you're sitting back and streaming and watching videos, an amazing 2100 hours, not 2100 hours, 21 hours. I got the process of 5800 <laughs> in my head. So those numbers are there. <laughs> okay, so and they also talked about a couple of different laptops as well, featuring a new processor called the HX. Now, these things are going to be really, really powerful gaming laptops. They're going to be able to do 1080p at over 100 frames per second on a lot of your favorite games. They'll be able to play a lot of games at 1440 as well at 60 frames per second. Um, so let's talk a little bit about those because they're actually pretty interesting. They're going to have two different models coming out. They're going to have the 5900 and the 5980. And both of these CPUs are going to be really powerful. They're going to be Zen 3 unlocked CPUs, which will be great for overclocking. The 5900HX will have eight cores, 16 threads, a 4.6 gigahertz boost. And both of these CPUs, I wanna say, will share 20 megabytes of level two and level three cache. The 5900HX is 45 watts of TDP. And then we have the 5980HX, still once again, eight cores, 16 threads, 
4.8 boost, and once again, 20 megabytes of level two and level three cache, and again, 45 watts of TDP. Now here's a shot of AMD's laptops playing Horizon Zero Dawn. They're playing it at 1080p with all the settings set to high detail and it's getting 100 frames per second. So that's some really pretty kick-ass numbers for a gaming laptop. Now beyond just these crazy laptops that they've been talking about, and there's going to be, basically they said 150 different models being released from different people. And they're also partnering up with HP, so you'll have HP branded gaming laptops. So AMD has made a lot of strategic moves. Now currently they dominate the entire uh, console market. There's really nobody else in the console market right now but AMD, so they dominate that market. Lucasfilms in Sydney, Australia, they've been really busy during the pandemic and they said they've got like a lot of movies that are in the can ready to go. And in their render farm, they said that they chose to go with completely AMD hardware. So that means you've got all of these AMD servers over there doing all this stuff for the new movies coming out. So that's actually a big move for AMD as well, because we all know in the past, Intel has dominated all these markets. Now, in the past year, AMD has come up like nobody else. They're like basically the underdog was getting kicked a lot to coming up swinging like they're Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson mixed together and just beating everybody up, taking the crown, because now they're dominating all kinds of markets and they're competing in markets with Intel that they've never ever competed before. Single threaded performance has always been something that every gamer out there all the time when you say anything about AMD would be like, hey, Intel's still faster in single core threads, bro. It's just, you know, that's just how it is. But guess what? That's not how it is anymore. Now, AMD really didn't talk about any brand new video card releases during this particular event. There was nobody saying, hey, we're gonna release this other brand new great video card. They did talk about though, you know, RDNA 2 which you guys know makes games all look better and play better together. So, you know, that's obviously going to be a big advancement in their software and technology working together. So we'll have to see how that come, you know, how that is when it comes out, but it's going to be a very interesting year for AMD. 2020 was good. 2021 is probably definitely though going to be the year for AMD unless these other companies, Intel, Nvidia pick up the pace. Now, Intel has a bunch of new laptops coming out, Nvidia has stuff coming out, but the numbers for all these different products, you know, from the consumer side and, and you know, reviewer side haven't yet to be seen, but it's going to be great when they get here because competition this year is going to be freaking amazing. And guess what? That's good for all of us, the consumer, the gamer, the end user. Those fights help us. I'm Elric. Thanks for, thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. I'm glad to see you guys all, all here. Um, there's some other things being talked about at CES. It's kind of really weird for the first time. This is the first time ever in my adult life that I haven't gone to the show in Vegas. Crazy. Everything's virtual now. <laughs> like I said in another video, virtual's getting bigger and bigger and bigger because everybody's stuck at home. Like usual, I'll have a link down below. So if you guys also want to see everything else that Lisa Sue had to say and all the other companies they talked to, I'll have a link down below in case you guys you know missed that so you can check that out. Also, like I want to just re uh, reiterate to you guys that all of the codes from CD, uh, CD Key Sales, they're all legit. I've been buying them for years. My friends buy them. They're all completely guaranteed. Use the code TT18. Um, and that'll help you get you an even bigger discount. And if you wanna support the site and don't wanna spend a penny, please try Amazon Prime for free if you don't have it for 30 days. It helps me, uh, it's free for you. And it doesn't cost anybody a penny. And if you've even got a single dollar, I have a link down below to my Patreon site where you can help keep Tech of Tomorrow going. So peace out, thanks for watching. Look out for more stuff from AMD because obviously I think they've got both guns loaded.